Hello, welcome to my assembly. I'll start with lighting some candles. We're gathered here today in the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit to worship together and think about our value of faithfulness. Do you know, I've just been looking at a, a picture. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a picture of a statue of a little dog. I wonder if you've got any pets. Have you got a dog? I haven't. I've got some cats. I've got three cats in my house. But I know a lot of you do have dogs. And you know, all the way through this lockdown, people have said that dogs are finding it the luckiest times of their lives because their owners are around and want to take them for walks every day. And dogs are getting lots of exercise and are feeling really special and very looked after. And you know, pets like dogs rely on us to look after them and to feed them and to give them food and water, shelter, and in return, they give us love. And lots of owners love their pet very much. Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about a dog, and it's a very special dog. He was a little sky terrier who lived over 160 years ago. He was born on a farm in Scotland, and dogs like him were used to chase away vermin, rats and mice and other things from the farm. And he was bought by a man called John Gray, who was the night watchman for the police force in Edinburgh in Scotland. Well, at that time, policemen were called Bobbies, named after Sir Robert Peel, Bob or Bobby is a name that's often used as a short form of Robert. And uh, he was the man who set up the first, the Metropolitan Police Force in London. And what better name to give the little dog than Bobby? Well, Bobby could be seen in the poorest streets of Edinburgh, helping his master to enforce the law and sometimes biting robbers and villains. Bobby was well known to everyone. After some years working together, John had to give up his job because he became a bit poorly. So he still looked after Bobby and they went out for walks and they spent many happy hours together. But sadly, John's health got worse and he died. And he was buried in a churchyard called Greyfriars in Edinburgh. Well, Dogs weren't allowed to visit the churchyard and every night the big gates at the front of the yard were locked. John's son took Bobby back to his home, but however hard he tried, he couldn't keep Bobby inside. Somehow the dog managed to find a way into the churchyard, where every morning he'd be found curled up on his master's grave in all weathers. People used to try and chase him away, but... Bobby growled, bared his teeth and just refused to move. After many nights and numerous attempts to move him, people gave up trying and accepted that Bobby was determined to stay in the churchyard by his master's grave. Every day at one o'clock, when the gun was fired at Edinburgh Castle, Bobby would go to the local coffee house that his master had gone to regularly and he'd be given some food. Bobby lived like this for 14 years, keeping watch over John's grave. He became well known and he attracted admirers from all over Europe. When he died on the 14th of January, 1872, it was decided that permission would be given for Bobby to be buried next to his master. A public collection raised enough money for a headstone and also a drinking fountain was erected with a bronze statue of Bobby on the top. It can still be seen to this day. Bobby was a really faithful dog. He stayed faithful to his master for so many years after he died. And that story became really well known. And in fact, it's been made into a couple of films. And I'd like to share the trailer for one of those films with you now. It's not the whole film, but it gives you a flavour of the story. 
like I've just told you now. See what you think of it. Once upon a time, in the parish of Greyfriars, there lived a legend, and his name was Bobby. Looking for a white terrier. So it happens I can help you there, laddie. To everyone who knew him, Bobby was courageous, <laughs> clever. I've never seen anything like it. He's the furry eighth wonder of the world. And was filled with a spirit of adventure. But above all, Bobby was loyal. As come rain or shine, he guarded his master's grave every night. Is this your dog? It's John Gray's dog. Well, Constable Gray, that's very dear. The new dog licensing act all streets to be cleared of strays or owners to register their animals. Now, when the law turns against him, Bobby, you're all right. His friends must fight. Yes, come on. To save his life. Give me the dog. No. Give me the dog. They're going to kill Bobby. Nothing less than the ghost of John Gray can save Bobby now. There is someone who can help. You I have to tell you about an injustice being done to the whole city. He's everyone's dog. It's your dog, sir. This dog cannot be confined or contained. Such is his spirit of independence. He deserves the freedom of the whole city. Piccadilly Pictures invites you to discover how Bobby became one boy's hero. Bobby! Bobby! Go back! And champion to a whole town. From the director of The Borrowers comes a big story about a very small hero. You're the guardian of the most famous dog in the land. The triumphant true story of Grey Friars Bobby. What do you want with all your staring? Well, I hope you liked that. I think it's a really great film and I can thoroughly recommend it. Have a look out for it. Bobby gave his undivided love and attention to his master. He remained faithful to John all his life. There are many different religions in the world today, but they all ask us to be faithful to their teachings and ideals. And we can be faithful to one another. We can stand up for each other and continue to care, even when we feel let down. We can show respect to those that we meet. So have a think about the little dog called Bobby and how faithful he was to John. What does it teach us about sticking by people, no matter what? Put your hands together, close your eyes and listen to the words as I say a prayer. Dear God, please help us to be faithful and true to our beliefs. Please help us to experience the truth, faithfulness, loyalty and devotion shown by Greyfriars Bobby in our own lives. Help us to show kindness and loyalty to others every day so that we become trusted and faithful friends. Amen. Well, we're going to sing a song. It's one we've done before, you know it well. Uh, and join in with it, please, if you can. It's called He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. God is faithful to us. He looks after everybody here. So that's why I've chosen this song. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his 
hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got everybody here in his hands he's got everybody here in his hands he's got everybody here in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands well done thank you for joining in keep doing what you're doing keep working really really hard and I look forward to seeing all the brilliant work that you've been doing when I bob into your classrooms. Keep doing your best. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.